Okay, question number 10 from Pure Mathematics 3, International A-Level, the sample assessment paper. It's the last question in this paper. Here we're told that the amount of an antibiotic in the bloodstream from a given dose is modeled by the formula X equals D times E to the power of minus 0.2 T, where X is the amount of the antibiotic in the bloodstream, the amount of antibiotic in the bloodstream in milligrams, D is the dose given in milligrams, and T is the time in hours after the antibiotic has been given. A first dose of 15 milligrams of the antibiotic is given. Use the model to find the amount of the antibiotic in the bloodstream four hours after the dose is given. Give your answers in milligrams to three decimal places. Okay, so here we're told um, that this is the formula. X is the amount of the antibiotic in the bloodstream after T hours. D is the initial dose given. And you've got e to the power of minus 0 0.2 times t, which is the time in hours after it's given. So what we're told here is the first dose, so d is equal to 15 milligrams. That's the first dose given, 15 milligrams. And we're told that the time, I'm going to find the amount of antibiotic after 4 hours. So the t equals 4. So that's all we need. So the, the, the amount of antibiotic after 4 hours is going to be d, which is 15, multiplied by e to the power of minus 0 0.2 times 4. So that should give us our answer for this question. Okay, so you've got 15 times e to the power of minus, oops, minus 0 0.2 times 4, which is minus 0 0.8, and that will give us our answer 6 Point seven three nine. Let me just do this. I'll just do this so we can see what's going on. Okay, so you have six point seven, six point seven three nine nine three continues on. We want it to three decimal places, so that's going to be there. So that's six point seven. Four zero six point seven four zero milligrams. Okay. All right. So there's the answer for part A. Okay. Let's get rid of this now. Now part B. It says a second dose of fifteen milligrams is given five hours after the first dose has been given. Okay, using the same model for the second dose, show that the total amount of the antibiotic in the bloodstream two hours after the second dose is given is 13.754. So let's have a look. We've got x equals, the, the formula was x equals d times e to the power of minus 0.2t. So we want to find the total dose. Okay, so it says five hours after the first dose has been given, another dose is given. Okay, so that means... If we think about that, that's going to be 15 times e to the power of minus 0 0.2. Um, okay, show that the total amount of the antibiotic in the bloodstream two hours after the second dose is given. Okay, put this as two. Okay, that's for this second dose that's given. And then for the first dose that was given, you're going to have e to the power of minus 0 0.2. There's 50 milligrams given, um, but now the time after the first dose is given is it's five hours plus two hours, so it's seven hours. So you've got to put seven here. Okay, so this represents the uh, amount of blood amount in the bloodstream after the second dose is given, which is two hours. We want to find the we want to we want to find the the amount in the bloodstream two hours after the second dose was given. Okay, so the, you've got t equals two. And that two hours after the first dose was given, uh, sorry, two hours after the second dose was given is five hours plus two hours after the first dose was given, which is seven hours. So therefore, the total dose should be given by this formula here. Or we'll just stick this into the equation. So let's just uh, use this and take that and make that a two. Okay, whoops. 
make that a two. And we've got to add the same thing, so 15 to the e to the power of minus 0 0.2 times 7. Okay, that should give you the total dose, and it should give us the answer that they're asking for. And it does. Okay, that, that's like, they, sometimes they do that to help you realize you're on the right tracks. Okay, so we can see we've got these, the answer that was required, so that kind of should settle your nerves a little bit in the exam. Okay, so let me just place this over here. Okay, so you have 13. So you should show it to more than some places. 13.75375 dot dot dot. So you can see that that's going to give you, give you 13.754 to three decimal places in milligrams. And there we have shown what we had to show. Okay, so that's part B done. And now we're going to go for part C. Okay, part C says no more doses of the antibiotic are given at time t hours after the second dose is given the total amount of the antibiotic in the bloodstream is 7.5 milligrams show that t equals a times lin b plus b over e where a and b are integers to, de to be determined okay so now the formula was again x equals d x equals d times e to the power of minus 0 0.2 times t and x is the amount of um, antibiotic in the bloodstream. So T hours after the second dose is given, the amount of the bloodstream is 7.5. So we can say that X is equal to 7.5. X is equal to 7.5. And D is equal to 15 milligrams. D is equal to 15. We can just put 15 for this. D is equal to 15. Okay. Now what is T? Now, it says no more doses of the antibiotic given at time T hours after the second dose is given, the total amount of the antibiotic in the bloodstream is 7.5. So there's the two different doses that were given. So this depends. So let's have a look at um, the total is going to be 7.5. That's the sum of the doses from the first and from the second uh, dose. That's, this, this, that's going to be the sum of what's left of those doses. So the first dose that was given was 15 um, and e to the power of minus 0 0.2 times now it says t hours after the second dose is given so let's take this as the second dose that'll be t here right and then you're going to have that's the amount left after the second dose is given and then you got 15 times to the times e to the power of 0 0.2 times now the first dose was given okay five hours after the uh, before the uh, second dose all right so the total time lapsed between the first dose and it becoming this amount is going to be t plus 5. That's the total time. Okay, that's uh, elapsed between the first dose being given and uh, the time that we, we need to find right now. Okay, because this is when the second dose was given, which is um, the, the this is the time after the second dose was given, t hours after the second dose is t. and that second dose was given five hours after the first dose. So the time elapsed from the first dose till now is going to be t plus five. So if I, I have to solve this equation for t, okay, and find that t is equal to some number times a lin of some number plus the same number over e. So we have to basically try to sort that out here. So what I can do first is let's do 7.5 is equal to take out 15 first as a common factor just to get rid of some of these big, bigger numbers plus e to the power of minus 0 0.2 times t plus 5. Okay now that 7.5 and that 15 if I divide both sides by um, 15 I'm going to get here a half okay so I'll have a half equals I have e to the power of minus 0 0.2 t plus e to the power of now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this out minus 0 0.2 t plus or minus there'll be a minus minus 0 0.2 t minus 0. minus 0 0.2 times 5 is minus 1 
Okay, so I'm going to have here a half is equal to. Now, this is like e to the power of minus 0.2t, okay, plus, and this is like e to the power of minus 0.2t times e to the power of minus 1, okay, because when I multiply uh, two numbers together in index form, it's like I add the power. So this is like e to the power of minus, two, zero, minus 0.2t times e to the power of minus 1. If I multiply these together, I'll get this exactly, won't I? I have to add these powers. So now I see I have a common factor here of e to the power of minus 0.2t. That'll be 1 plus e to the power of minus 1. Okay, so now I can um, I can write this as it's reciprocal if I want to, or I can uh, yeah I can mul I can divide both sides by one plus e to the power of minus one. Okay, so I'll have um, e to the power of minus zero point two t is equal to, and I'll have um, one over. 2 times 1 plus e to the power of minus 1. Okay, and what I can do to make my life a bit easier, I can write this as a reciprocal. So I'll put this as a positive power, uh, power, sorry. And this will become its reciprocal, which is 2 times 1 plus e to the power of minus 1. Okay, now I can take the lin of both sides. If I take the lin of this side, the lin to the base e of e, the log to the base e of e is 1, so this will become 0.2t using the power law. And I take the lin of this side, I'll have lin of um, 2, and this would be, let me just multiply that out at the same time. That would be 2 plus 2e to the power of minus 1, and then I can multiply, this is like 1 fifth, so I multiply both sides by 5, I'll have 5 times the lin of 2 plus, and this is like 2 over e, and I think that's exactly the form that we wanted. So that's the form that we wanted. So a is 5 and b is 2, yeah. So we can see we got a is 5 and b is 2, okay. So we got it in the right form and we see that the, what, what they wanted in terms of a and b are integers and it looks like that's the correct answer. And there we have finished this whole paper.